I've seen and heard many of you asking the same question I'm asking, why is it so hot and when is it going to stop? We're all ready for fall weather here and unfortunately the hot temperatures will be hanging around for a while, at least for the next few days, before we have a change in the forecast. It's not on the far end of the forecast, but it's there. Look at the, uh, the, excuse me, the radar here for our particular area and we do have a few showers and thunderstorms out there, but they are hanging south of us. Really, I think, all of this activity is going to go from about Meridian to Waco to Grosbeck and south of there and southwest. I don't expect much here. Now we could have a few stronger gustier storms and perhaps like that one north of Gatesville if that is able to produce an outflow boundary then that could feed back northward and could bring a chance of showers and thunderstorms farther north but I just don't expect much of that to happen. For the most part I think we will be rain free for today and we will just have to deal with the hotter weather. I also wanna transition over to the tropics here before we get into the meat of our conversation. Just a couple of things going on. A much more quiet map than what we saw last week. Of course, we had Francine that made her way up through the Gulf into Louisiana, and now it's just kind of hanging around uh, in the south here. But I will tell you the one storm we really have close to the US really doesn't have any impacts for Texas planned and that's going to kind of just hanging around uh, there. It may come inland but it doesn't look like it's going to do a whole lot. 50% chance of developing over the next several days. Tropical storm Gordon here just kind of out in the water, just kind of meandering out there. So really no impacts for Texas as we get into uh, or, or really continue through the peak of hurricane season. Now let's talk about what's going on today. And we obviously have this high pressure in place. That is what has kept everything uh, dry and hot for our area. What I wanna talk about is the pattern that we're stuck in. You notice the lift here, that is that ridge of high pressure. And then you have that deep dive here where uh, the remnants of Francine are influencing things. I had the question yesterday at the family day event at Railyard Park, are the remnants of Francine causing our weather? Well, it was part of it. It did bring some of the humidity in. Uh, there's also a system in the Pacific that's been sending some of the clouds and moisture in. So there's a mix of things. But really, I'm looking at this omega shape here. You notice that it comes in off the Pacific Ocean, rises up and then back down again. This omega block or this omega pattern that you kind of get locked into here holds this high pressure in place. Francine, her remnants at least, are not really going anywhere very quickly and neither is this trough of low pressure off to the Northwest. So we're kind of just locked in this pattern and we will stay there for the next several days. But what am I watching in the far end of the forecast? Well, this could be the scenario as we get into the Saturday Sunday pattern in this forecast. Now, there's going to be a few factors to watch here. Behind it will be high pressure. This is the good kind of high pressure. This will be cooler, drier weather, not the hot, humid weather that we have now. But several questions remain, including where how far south does this front go? Does it actually bring that cooler, drier weather into our area? Does it bypass us? We're far enough in the forecast that can change, as can the when. Does this arrive Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, Sunday morning? Those things could impact the forecast. Right now it looks like late Saturday, but that could bring temperatures up on Saturday because ahead of that front, we could see compressional heating where all of that warm air that's on top of us gets compressed right ahead of that front and that can drive temperatures up closer to 100 degrees that day and then do we get rain ahead of this uh, ahead of this front and if that's the case that could change things as well so there are still plenty of questions to figure out with this front so far the models have been fairly consistent that it will make it here unfortunately it does look like that front may be weakening here so hopefully that trend does not continue but as with any cold front coming into warm air, it's going to start running out of gas. What remains to be seen is how far south will that front go? How far south will the cool air, the drier air behind it go? How will that affect the forecast right ahead of it? How will that timing impact things? And will we get rain out of it or not? There's plenty of time for all of that to change, so you make sure you're staying tuned 
to the forecast. So here's what we have right now. This is as of this morning, and I really haven't made many changes. 10% chance of showers and thunderstorms today. Again, that just depends on if we get a stray storm from south of us. Right now, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. I have 93 here from this morning. Temperatures are already ahead of that, so we're looking more 95, 96 for today. Tomorrow and Tuesday, things do quiet down a little bit. The temperatures go down just a tad here. We'll be kind of under more of a northeasterly flow here, a northwest flow aloft. So that will kind of help to bring the temperatures down a little bit. But we do start warming up again closer to the weekend. The latter half of the week, 94 Wednesday, 95 Thursday, 96 for Friday here. And then Saturday, a big question mark. I have a 30% chance of rain here. There's kind of multiple scenarios covered up in uh, this uh, forecast here for Saturday. I have temperatures at 95. If it looks like we're going to get more compressional heating ahead of that front, depending on the timing, that forecast high could very well go up. If we have a higher chance of rain, forecast high could go down. Again, if it looks later, that could change that forecast as well. It is Founders Day there in Red Oak. I will be there at that event rain or shine. I may be giving weather reports from right there in Watkins Park, but we will continue to monitor this. This is one of those things where it could make Saturday miserable or it could make Saturday great. We just have to watch and see what that does. This is on the far end of the forecast. This just now entered that forecast period. We still have to wait and see what Sunday is going to look like. So over the next several days, I was telling people yesterday that five to seven day period in the forecast seems to be when a lot of the changes come into play. And then you get about three days out and you start to get more of a refined forecast. So there's plenty of time for there to be changes in that forecast. So I don't want you to get your hopes up too much, but for right now, it does look like that is our next cold front. And it looks like it could do us a few favors. So keep in mind, we could see a shower or thunderstorm today. Temperatures get a little bit easier over the course of the week. We start warming up closer to next weekend. Then Saturday, Sunday period, we will be watching to see what that next cold front will bring to North Central Texas. Stay tuned to South Metro Weather for more updates to come.